Is Warzone 1 permanently going offline? Will you lose access to all of your cosmetics you've worked hard for over the past 3 years? We finally have official answers to what is happening with Warzone 1. Activision released a huge blog post laying to rest all of the rumors and partial announcements that players have been relying on. Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 Season 1 info was revealed in this blog as well, but I'm still deciding on what's worth covering and what's not. So in this video, we're solely focusing on what is happening with Warzone 1. Please don't forget to tap the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. So here is what is happening. Warzone 1 is being renamed to Warzone Caldera moving forward. Why Caldera? There's more than just Caldera to Warzone 1. Well, give, give me about a minute here. It'll make much more sense soon. But the newly named Warzone Caldera will be going offline on November 16th at 8 a.m. Pacific time with Warzone 2.0 going live a few hours later. Warzone Caldera won't be offline permanently. The servers will relaunch on November 28th. From there on, Warzone Caldera and Warzone 2.0 will be entirely separate games. Warzone 2.0 will be tied to the Modern Warfare 2 client, and it will be assumed that Warzone Caldera will be permanently tied to the Modern Warfare 2019 client. Upon Warzone Caldera's return, Caldera will be the only map available to play on, hence the name change. Rebirth Island and Fortune's Keep will be removed from Warzone Caldera and assumedly be reintroduced to Warzone 2.0 at some point. On top of all that, Warzone Caldera will have just a select amount of a Battle Royale playlist that will be available to play. So they're really stripping the game down in. Theorizing a bit here, I think it's pretty clear they're beginning to sunset the original Call of Duty Warzone. I highly doubt you're going to see much development or updates for Warzone Caldera moving forward, even though they're still allowing people to play it. Now, both Warzones are free to play. Why don't they just shut the Caldera servers down cold turkey and use those resources for Warzone 2? I think that answer has to do with the last few announcements that are related to cosmetics and progression. The big and arguably most impactful announcement on this blog is that the only items that will be transferring from Warzone Caldera to Warzone 2.0 are your Call of Duty points. Which isn't much of a surprise, Call of Duty points have been cross-compatible with every Call of Duty game since Black Ops 3 Infinite Warfare. Like you can buy Call of Duty points in Modern Warfare 2 right now and then those Call of Duty points will pop up and you can use them in Infinite Warfare. So not much of a surprise. This means all that other stuff, uh, any Battle Pass content, bundles you've purchased, weapons, operators, even your double XP tokens, none of that stuff will be available for you to use in Warzone 2.0. You'll still be able to use all your own content in Warzone Caldera, as well as Modern Warfare 2019, Black Ops Cold War, and Vanguard respectively, but that's it. Progression and cross-progression will not be carried over to Warzone 2.0. Essentially, Modern Warfare 2019, Black Ops Cold War, Vanguard, and Warzone Caldera are going to be stuck and left behind in the past. Going off COD titles prior to Modern Warfare 2019, it's pretty safe to say that all your progression and gear you've earned in each game will be available in the core multiplayer for forever. I mean, every single Call of Duty that's been released, all their servers are all still active. But who knows how long Warzone Caldera will last. The model for Call of Duty in general has shifted towards a premium live service hybrid model but warzone caldera is the only true free to play live service game and there's no precedent for how long these servers will be on for and so on caldera servers could be on for the next five years which i highly doubt that personally or they could be on for just another six months which is unfortunate news for players who primarily play warzone and have invested a lot of time and money into it but that's just how it is. It's clear they're making a hard cutoff between the Modern Warfare 2019 to Vanguard era and the new Modern Warfare 2 era we're entering right now. So this is all useful information to know moving forward. Do not assume Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 will follow the same pattern though. This is the first supposedly two year Call of Duty title and for all we know, Warzone 3 could be coming out in 2024. That's something I've actually been pondering on and will likely be discussing in a future video. 
So what do you think about all of this? Do you think they're handling the transition between Warzone Caldera and 2.0 fine? Or do you think they could have done stuff better? Are you upset about the cosmetics that you've uh, purchased and spent time earning are going to be stuck in the past? Personally, I think they're handling this pretty fine. I think they should hard stop Warzone Caldera actually and just shut down the servers, but I understand why they aren't doing that. I will say the cross progression and shared bundles uh, was a nice feature that we've enjoyed the last three years and I will miss it. One of the big appeals for bundles over the past few years for me personally is that you could use them in multiple games for multiple years. It felt like a good value and a good investment and I ended up buying a few things that I liked where historically I wouldn't put money into supply drops or other forms of add-ons because they just didn't seem worth the price straight up and then they'd be left behind within a year. It just didn't seem worth it for me. The only exception was like the $1 camos in traditional map packs we had back in like Black Ops 2, but those days seem to be long gone. So I'm curious to hear what you think down below in the comments. Please don't forget to click the like button on this video. Consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you on the next one.